every day. We go into our closet and we um, think, okay, what am I going to wear today? And, oh, wait, what's the weather like? Um, what do I have going on today? So it kind of is it a sweats kind of day or is it a day when I got to look a little better? Um, for women, that's going to be like, do I actually put mascara on or uh uh-uh, uh, ain't mm-hmm. happening. Um, for guys, it's like which hat? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or a hat or not. Yeah, I guess. Um, but how often do we really sit and actually think, okay, how am I going to mentally prepare myself? Welcome to the Midweek Motivation Podcast, where we bring practical help for your faith and life. Here's today's episode. Hey, welcome to the Midweek Motivation Podcast. I am Gabe Kolstad. This is Nancy Castile. How are you doing, Nancy? Hey, guys. I'm good. I'm good. How are good. you, Gabe? Doing great. And awesome. we're jumping back into it. We right are. in the thick of dragons and dandelions as a church. And now we're pausing here in the middle of the week to go, okay, we're, we're close to the end of the series. We've been yeah. battling all these monsters, solving all these problems. And today we're going we're gonna to really focus in on one very important topic because... Um, a lot of times it's how we show up to these battles that determines whether we win them or lose them. 100%. Right? 100%. So, Nancy, you Well, and thoughts? I think, you know, and how we show up really to life every day. Yeah. And one of the biggest things that I want to share with you, it, it really stems from Gabe's teaching this last Sunday. If you hadn't had a chance to listen to it yet, um, please do so. Um, it will make what I'm about to say a whole lot clearer, you know, because you, you talked about um, expectation before exploration yeah. and expedition. So kind of the, um, what I mean, I would say, what do we expect or how are we coming in armed mm-hmm. um, before we're looking at our options yeah. and then acting. Exactly. Or yeah. out on the, well said. out on move, the movement, out on the move. So I was really, I was really taken by what you said. Um, you had a quote about uh, whether you think you can or you think you can't. You're right. Yeah. That is a famous quote. It is such a perfect quote when we think about our expectations. And so, you know, if we're talking about how do you cultivate consistency in your life so you can really problem solve because we're talking about slaying dragons or Mm -hmm. uh, or dandelions Mm -hmm. big problems small problems all of it is still problem solving Um, one thing we can be assured of in our life as human beings is we are going to have things not go like we would wish they would go at times and so now you're just now you're just rubbing it in i'm sorry i'm sorry gabe (laughs) (laughs) but but How do we live a life that has a whole lot more peace, a Mm -hmm. whole lot less conflict, a whole lot less of kind of what being shocked or surprised by the unknown stuff is to be able to kind of come in with a more peaceful self, with a more consistent approach Mm -hmm. to, hey, whatever happens today. I'm going to be there and be present and bring my best self yeah. into it. Oh, man. And I, I, I'm sure everybody feels this way, but I think all the time, why didn't I prepare myself better for that moment? I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was going to take my emotional energy. I knew that I should have had this stuff thought through. Why didn't I prepare better for that Well, moment? think about it. You know, think about it. How often do we, okay, like every day, we go into our closet and we um, think, okay, what am I going to wear today? And, oh, wait, what's the weather like? Um, what do I have going on today? So it kind of, is it a sweats kind of day or is it a day when I got to look a little better? Um, for women, that's going to be like, do I actually put mascara on or uh uh-uh, uh, ain't mm-hmm. happening. Um, for guys, it's like which hat? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or a hat or not. Yeah, I guess. Um, but how often do we really sit and actually think, okay, how am I going to mentally prepare myself? Do I do anything before I go into the day, before I walk into the, from the garage into the house at night, before I head into, um, any kind of situation that you that you know of, let alone the things you don't know of. But how long, how how often do we fortify ourselves or try to kind of do the dress for success um, with our inner self? Mm-hmm. And and boy, wouldn't life be a whole lot more uh, peaceful? Our relationships would be better um, if we didn't just go on impulse with those. Okay, so really, you know, when we're talking about first and foremost, what are you expecting? Okay, what are you expecting? Um, 
what are you expecting today? What are you expecting in your marriage? What are you expecting in your life? What are you expecting for your job? Um, think about it. Let's, let's actually mm -hmm. do some thinking about it. Whether that is thinking about it for today, if it's thinking about it for a month, thinking about it for the next five years, whatever it is. And maybe you're going to have gradations of that. You're going to actually like sit down and have a five-year plan. I don't know. You know, <laughs> maybe you can go, wow, I can't even think about this afternoon. You know, yeah. so maybe you're just going to be thinking about how am I going to take myself from bed into my day today? Mm -hmm. But let's do it not just on the outward, but let's do it on the inside too. Um, and, and I loved what you said, and this would be another plug. I am not saying this plug just as a shameless plug because I actually don't say it about every podcast, but I do think your Co Courageous podcast was excellent in terms of like you saying you wake up in the morning and you think of a word, like what do yeah. I want to practice about myself today? Yeah. You know, how do I want to show up today? And I love today that. Today was because vibrance. Vibrance. That was my word. Nice. Well, you're f seeming very vibrant awesome. today. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but truly there that is phenomenal advice because it does frame your mental framework. Yeah. I mean your emotional experience and how you are going to meet everything whether it's people or it's problems everything in and just taking two minutes to think about it. I think I've said this before on the podcast that there's like research that shows like if you take the first like 8 seconds or 8 minutes there you go. Clearly, I need to reread the research. I can't remember if it's eight seconds or eight minutes. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> um, but it's eight um, in the very beginning of your day and decide what is it, how you want to meet today. Yeah. What is the day going to be like today? Yeah. And if you actually, so you're basically getting that internal experience dressed and ready to go. Yeah, that's really good. And I think why we were camping on Joshua last Sunday, for those of you that are going back and listen to that or watch that, was because he did that, but it was all about who God was going to show up to be in his life and all these promises of God and all of the strength, right? That, I mean, there was a massive battle he was facing. Talk about dragons, massive, massive, mm -hmm. huge problem to solve. Um, but it, it was... It was in him pausing and getting really clear yes. on not just who was he going to be, but how was he going to be who he knew he should be. Right. Is the power was there, you yes. know, the promise was there. Well, and and taking have doing that pause mm -hmm. allows you to be proactive and not reactive. Mm -hmm. So, but otherwise, we're like, okay, there's a problem. I'm gone. But I'm like, that's like act first, think second. Yeah. And that just doesn't usually have great uh, outcomes. So right. we're looking for doing it differently. Um, if you guys are like handling all your problems perfectly, then we applaud you. <laughs> but it typically we all, we are incredibly, incredibly uh, imperfect beings. Yeah. And we all need some work on this stuff. So, you know, another thing that I that I was really thinking about, about all of this is um, when you think about that idea of uh, whether you think you are or whether you think you, mm -hmm. or whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right, is to avoid self-fulfilling prophecies. So that idea, if you've heard the term before, obviously you know it, if you haven't, self-fulfilling. So you're, you're going to make this prophecy, a prophecy about the future. Like, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to yeah. have a, uh, this marriage isn't going to work. Okay. Um, I, you know, I'm going to raise a wonderful child, you know, all these kind of things. Let's have really healthy prophecies that we're setting and not self-fulfilling prophecies, which can often be um, maybe not as like negative self-talk. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. ties into kind of a, I hear a lot when, when I'm doing coaching with people, it's, you know, kind of, but this is who I am. This is how our relationship goes. Um, this is what I do. This is how I think. And I want to say, if it's working for you, then yes, go with it in that regard. But if it's not, then it is who you are. It is how the relationship goes until you choose to do it differently. So let's choose. Let's do it differently. Because, you know, as yeah. much as we always, you know, you always hear the adage, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But... Uh, what I would say is, if it's broke, fix it. Just period. Right. And I mean, if it is, you're calling out a couple of things. One is we have personal free will, right? We do have choice. Yes. And even in the times when we feel like we're 
maybe backed into a corner or maybe we have, I love, I love what you're saying, self-fulfilling prophecies, because sometimes you get so used to doing something a certain way that you feel like you don't have a choice, even though right. you do. Right. Hey, just jumping in right in the middle of this podcast episode to tell you about a resource that you need in your life. You know, if you feel ever stuck in your faith or if you feel like I want to grow my faith, but I just don't quite know what the steps are. We got a resource for you called Sticky Faith in a Slippery World. I mean, this world is changing and it's crazy and we all need something firm to stand on. And I wrote a book for you called Sticky Faith in a Slippery World. You can get your copy right now at the link in the description. How would somebody do this, break that cycle? If you're going to cultivate way. consistency, it is, yeah. It is. you know, um, I'm going to ask God to walk with me every day. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to go into a difficult situation. Jesus, please be with me. Um, help me to see clarity, to see clearly, have clarity, to uh, walk with power, to, and when I say walk with power, it's not like, mm, you know, I'm so tough. It is to be able to have my feet firmly on the mm -hmm. ground, to be thinking clearly, to be to be open to listening, to, to not be reactive, to, to, to think, to pause, to ask for a break if you need to have that time to think. Um, if something is starting to go negative, uh, then, then take a break. Come back to it. Um, you know, it, it is so, it's just so important to, to really take a couple of seconds and gather yourself so that you can be, well, so you can be, I was going to say, so you can be confident, but I guess we have to ask first, what are you, again, that idea, what are you trying to measure up to, or what are your expectations? Mm -hmm. Where do those come from? Are you trying to measure up to a perceived a perceived perfection? Are you trying to, you know, measure up to somebody's expectation mm -hmm. that is not realistic or that is beyond your current reach? Um or, or like I said, perceived perfection or perceived expectation. You know, maybe you think, oh my gosh, I've got to be perfect for my mom if you're younger. And, or I've got to, you know, I've got to do this just right at work. Or what would they think? I mean, I'm in this position. I've got to be able to do this right. Mm. Um, but, you know, it sometimes you can say, you know, God, give me the grace to be able to be the best human being I can be today. And, and, whether that means I'm going, hey, I need a few minutes to work on that because I don't know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that makes any sense if yeah. it answered your question. Yeah, just looking for like, okay, don't don't give self fulfilling prophecies that are negative. Instead, I'm capable. Yeah, I'm capable. We are, you know, there's there's a couple things I can be absolute cer absolute absolutely certain about, and that is, um, us, you, are more capable. Than you think you are. Mm -hmm. We tend to undervalue our abilities. We don't tend to overvalue. It's you know, if I ask people, um, "What are you good at?" versus tell me some of the, tell me some of the things that you need <laughs> to work on. Oh my gosh, the list is usually so long for yeah. things people think that they need to work on, and they're usually like, "Hmm," about you know, what are my greatest strengths? And I say, you know, it's funny because I always say, you know, believe in yourself. Because how can, if you want people to believe in you, but you don't believe in you, how is that going to happen? They want, you know, if you want somebody to love you, yeah, but you don't love yourself, that's going to be really tough. Mm -hmm. So it's also, you know, it's just have some of the, have some really positive. Yeah, I get, I love that. I get, shift your self-fulfilling uh -huh. prophecies to a more positive framework. Yeah. And maybe words of faith, right? Like, yeah. Instead of fear or doubt or uh, past or yeah, or this is how I've this is how I've always mm -hmm. been or this is how it is. This is how I was raised. Those those things all say so. I'm therefore pro pre programmed to stay there, yeah. and I want to think you know that God has a plan for me, and and I I that is not how I was created or why I was created. Yeah, that I have the ability to grow and to change. And I have the ability to hold my tongue. I have the ability to see how to do it differently. And, you know, and, and I'm going to try that out today. But, you know, um, just like when I went to Mount Everest. Um, so I went to, I've been to, I've been to Nepal twice because I am an adventurer. And so I, the second time I went, I was in the Everest region of Nepal. And you fly in at 11,000 feet. 
uh, wow. uh, from unless you have three weeks to hike there. Um, you fly into 11,000 feet uh, into a town called Lukla, and then you head out on your expedition from there. Um, when you fly in, you are you have to sleep there. You have to sleep there for a day or two just to get your brain and your body because the oxygen level up that high is so much thinner. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. That's not probably said technically correct, but you get my drift. Um, before you can actually go and exert yourself. So you start backpacking after you acclimatize to that level of, of oxygen in right. the air. And then when you he head out, you know, I could have tried to figure out how to, to do it even higher, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I don't think there's actually an airport any <laughs> or an airstrip anywhere closer. There's no airport. There's just an airstrip at Lukla. But, but, if I would have got landed and started straight away, I would have potentially put myself at risk yeah. of, of some serious, if not life-threatening problems because my body wasn't used to that, th that thin of air. Mm -hmm. So I have to do that. And then every time I, every day I would go up, you know, certain thousand, thousand, whatever feet or however, I can't remember, um, I then have to sleep at a lower level. So you can go to your highest point. You don't sleep at your highest point. You go down uh, and you so sleep at a little bit yeah. lower point so that, again, your body is being exposed to a higher level, but you're, you're sleeping one night down a little, little lower so that your brain has a chance to catch up. Your body has a chance to catch mm -hmm. up in terms of the level of oxygen. And, and well, I'm know, seeing the same thing yeah. here because if we're going to practice new ways of doing things, if we're going to cultivate consistency, if we're really going to say, I want to be more consistent, I want to be a slayer of dragons <laughs> after I figure out which ones are actually dragons yeah. and which ones are not needing that kind of energy, um, then I need to make sure I practice those things so you know, with my spouse I'm going to practice these things these new ways of talking and then we're going to take a break like you're going to sleep down a little bit so you guys get a chance it's not like you're going to go and we're going to do it all tonight right or I'm going to I'm tomorrow I'm going to be really self-confident okay at work you know or something like that okay so go there do something that you know is outside of your comfort zone and then sleep at, sleep lower. Don't try to be it everywhere because that's yeah. when people will inev inevitably, inevitably go, I, I, it scre I screwed up. I couldn't do it. Yeah. See, I can't, I'm, not, I'm not that capable. Too much, too fast. Yeah, exactly. Which, which, which rubs me a little bit the wrong way. Per, my personality is I want to achieve. I want to do better. I want to push myself, you know, but then I do find myself either over exhausting myself or or frustrating other people right. who are like who the heck are you and why aren't you your normal you you know self or whatever that's such great advice i like the pacing of it and it, the patience it, of it yeah well and that, and that's exactly it it is being patient with yourself it's also being patient with others mm -hmm. and and recognize that everybody is on a journey um and if everybody was looking at trying to cultivate consistency in their life and slay their dragons or even just change their mindset, then the thing to also keep in mind is everybody changes at a different rate. Mm -hmm. So, so if, it, if, say, you're working with your kids on making some changes, you know, you're a mom, your dad, your your parents that are trying to help have things go more smoothly at home or or in your marriage or something like that anything like that um that people do things at a different rate they they may all be hearing the message you guys are all hearing this at the same time or in the same format because this is how we are presenting this but your ability to make these changes are going to be at different rates mm -hmm. so we need to also respect hey, I'm making these changes, man. Why aren't you? You know, like, it, and that's where I say, like, think about Everest. What is your Everest that you are trying to conquer? Um, and, and just when you're saying, I'm going to achieve, I'm going to, I'm going to conquer Everest. Okay. It has to be done one step at a time. It's it. That's the only way you're going to get yeah. there. One step at a time, H having the right tools, having the right um, mindset, having and then sleeping low. 
practice something new and then recognize I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back down. I'm going to have a little sleep, peace and quiet, whatever, dinner, and then I'm going to go back in. Tomorrow's yeah. a new day. I think my gonna... blood pressure just went down. Just just like relaxing into that for a second. That <laughs> is helpful. Thank there you, you go. Just uh, you are not alone. Remember that. that. This is something we all as human beings are dealing with. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nancy. You're welcome. Greg. Appreciate your help today. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you want to share it with others. And uh, thanks a lot for being here. We'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Midweek Motivation. To make sure you don't miss any content in the future, please subscribe, share, and if you enjoyed this, give us a like and consider popping by a Westside service some weekend. You can find out more at westsidecommunitychurch.com.